why am I, why am I zoomed in the Karakuri model 339 Suzunk? Because this video revolves around him. And you know if I'm doing a video on Yu-Gi-Oh, it has to involve some controversy. And this is nothing short of that. So what we have here is Suzunk Karakuri model number 30, 39. Yeah, I can really read numbers, huh? 339 Suzunk. And it's an effect machine type monster, and it's part of the Karakuri archetype. And the effects down here say this card must attack if able. When this card, when this face up attack position card is selected as an attack target, it is changed to defense position. When this card is flipped face up, select one face up monster on the field and send it to the graveyard. During the turn this card is flipped face up, your opponent, it, it can attack your opponent directly. Okay. Now, the third line right here is where the controversy is going to take place. And, uh, well, I switched over to another part, but yeah. This is where the controversy is going to take place. So let's look at what happened here. Alright? So, what happened was that I had my Suzunk. As you can see, I have two of them in here. One I flipped up on my own, and one was flipped up when my opponent attacked me. And, uh, yeah. And basically what it was is that I had this Suzunk flip face down, right? And this guy... fix this right here because I know it's looking kind of blurry I know. but yeah this guy he attacked me with his uh, his own um, the silent magician and I had I, wait first off it was his turn and he had uh, like summon silent magician and then I activated Nightmare Wheel. As you can see, it's in my graveyard right here, Nightmare Wheel. And the effect is that, you know, uh, that when it's activated, uh, I, I select one monster on my opponent's side. And as long as, as long as, uh, uh, this card remains face up on the field, then the selected monster can't attack. And during each of my standby phases, I inflict 500 uh, points of damage to my opponent's life points. And, you know, I activated this. As you can see, I got Nightmare Wheel in my graveyard. And he activated um, the Only Dark Bride to um, uh, like negate my Nightmare Wheel. I drew a card, and his Silent Magician had gained one counter. So its attack is is at uh, is at um 1500 because it increases by 500 each time there's a counter on it. And uh yeah. So what happened was is that he attacked my face down monster, which was Kara Curry. He got flipped face up, right? He got flipped face up from that and sent it from the graveyard. Now the effect clearly states right here, the effect states that when this card is flipped face up, select one face up monster on the field and send it to the graveyard. Now notice when it says flip face up, it doesn't give any specific type of flip face up uh, ways. Like you, you can flip a card face up like if it's face down and your opponent attacks it or it, if you uh on the flip it face up uh um from face down uh defense position into face up attack position that's another way to flip it face up right so as I segue over here to the chat room where me and this guy was having a chat okay um and when my first Suzunk attack, as you can see, he's right here. It was during his turn, and he had a face down uh, card. And I flipped this face up, and I missed 
you know, activated his effect. So I just sent him to the graveyard of, uh, of, uh, uh, because of his effect, I, I just sent him to the graveyard. So it was whatever. And what happened was, uh, yeah, um, like during the second, um, event that took place uh, between the second Karakuri uh, 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 Sazank this is where all the problems started okay so one like I said he attacked my face down uh, on the Karakuri as you can see it's, it's right there on top and it's effect activated and he said it doesn't work when attacked trigger effects must be properly flipped face up now I want you to keep in mind that he said this because as we get further into the conversation um like he's uh, like gonna uh, I don't like end up uh, like contradicting himself so just keep this in mind that he said trigger effects must be activated by a proper flip summon, right? Because uh, the Karakuri Ninja Model 339 is a continuous effect and a trigger effect monster. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way. Here's where the conversation started. If so, he tried to argue with me that you know this card had to be properly flipped summoned when the effect clearly says that when this card is flipped the face up, when this card is flipped face up. As you can see, like right here on this line, when this card is flipped face up, select one face up monster on the field and send it to the graveyard. That's what this effect is. Like that's what the, that's when the effect activates. It's not a flip effect monster, but it does have an effect when it's flipped face up. It doesn't say it needs to be flipped summoned. It just said it has to be flipped face up. Now a monster can be flipped face up from face de from face down defense position when it's attacked or when you uh, like flip it face up into the attack position uh, like during your turn or during your opponent's turn when it when it has uh, uh, like when it's a card effect or something and yeah sorry I keep moving over his uh, dark ride but yeah when it's flipped face up it doesn't have to be you know flip face up into attack position it just has to be flip face up that's when it says that's what it says right okay now we're gonna go back to this now this right here is it the uh, uh the trading card game ruling matter of fact I'm gonna go to the uh, the TGC ruling right now click on rulings okay here we are rulings card rulings current Curry ninja model 339 Suzuki and uh, like, uh, and the second ruling, the official TGC ruling, says that if this card is flipped during your opponent's turn, you can still send one face-up monster to the graveyard, even though this card would would be unable to attack. So. It says it right here. If this card is flipped during your opponent's turn, now how can a card be flipped during my opponent's turn when it gets attacked or uh, like by a card effect? So if this card is flipped during your opponent's turn, you can still send one face up monster to the graveyard, even though this card will be unable to attack. Okay. Uh, now that we got that out the way, uh, uh, this is the. Uh, official rulings 
of the game that I just read to you. The official uh, like judge rulings. Now, I posted this to him. If this card is flipped during your opponent's turn, you can still send one face-up monster to the graveyard, even though this card would be unable to attack. And he acted, and he um, acts, you know, like just because it's a trigger effect, like it said, it, it has a trigger effect, however, which it does. And then he said, like, this is a card room, and I'm at, arguing with him, and he said, a trigger effect must, a trigger effect such as that must be properly flip summoned. Where in does the card description does it say that this card has to be flip summoned? It doesn't have to be properly flip summoned. It doesn't say that in the card description. On top of that, I gave him the card, the card rulings right there. And if it's flipped face up during my opponent's turn, you know, and like I said, when a card is flipped during my opponent's turn, a face down defense position monster on my side of the field can be flipped face up during my opponent's turn by a card effect that my opponent controls or by my opponent's monster attacking that face down defense position monster on my side and that's when the effect activates that's when the effect activates and I gave him the link to it now I told him flip face up not flip summon and then he linked me to this right here I will link you however flip summon trigger effects must be triggered by a proper flip summon not by the card being flipped in any other way in this case you know it seems legit but current understand that Sazank isn't a flip summon monster like he isn't hold on let me show, show you this when a flip effect monster is flip summon flip summon its flip effect will take place if flip effects will also activate if the monster is flipped faced up in the damage step right there so he linked me to the page see I, I didn't even have to read this I'm just now reading this if flip effects will also activate if it is flip face up in the damage step but Kara Curry isn't a flip effect monster but you know like the same rule applies to him and, uh, yeah but let's continue on with this so you can so you can see what all of this is but yeah he said that it still I told him it still activates it's a trigger effect and must must be flip summoned to activate right no because the, the, the ruling even said if it's flipped during my opponent's turn which it was and I'm not even gonna um, reiterate what I said because the TGC ruling clearly states even if it's flipped during my opponent's turn the effect still activates okay that right there was a any argument that you had like you can't argue against that that's the judge rulings that's the official rulings of the game but lo and behold even though I showed him this he still argued on it and he said it's right there on the card and I showed you the ruling then on top then to top it off you said something about trigger tr trigger effects and you gave me a link to flip summoning that's another thing if you're gonna make an argument about a certain topic which the topic we were speaking on was flip that was our uh, well, it was trigger effects which Kyrakuri is it is a flip no I keep saying flip four it is a continuous and a trigger effect trigger effect when a trigger effect it basically speaks to itself something has to happen in order to trigger the effect 
what happens is when it gets flipped face up, its effect activates. So like one face up monster on the field and send it to the graveyard, right? Wait, y'all can't see that. Yeah. Change it to Yeah, the when this card is flipped face up. Select one face up monster on the field and send it to the graveyard. This is the ruling of I mean like this is what triggers this card's effect. It's a trigger effect. So if he's making an argument about trigger effects, why in the hell would he link me to um a page explaining flip summon monsters? Sounds like a bit of trolling to me, but anyways, uh, as we continue, you know, as I told him right here, you know, it's right there on the card, and I showed you the ruling, then to top it off, you said something about trigger effects, and you gave me a link to flip something, but it does not say that the, in the ruling that it can, now why would he make an argument about the ruling if I just showed him the link to the ruling? He said, but it does not say in the ruling or card that it can activate without a flip summon. I mean, as if saying that when this card is flipped face up, you know, select one monster on the field and send it to the graveyard. I mean, it does not say in the ruling or card that it can activate without a flip summon. I mean, it says it in the card itself. I mean, as if it's not obvious enough. When this card is flipped face up, boom. Like, that's it. It says it right there. And even in the TGC ruling, it tells us the second TGC ruling. Put that away. Move this to the side. Okay, here we go. The second line. If this card is flipped during your opponent's turn, boom. You can still send one face up monster to the graveyard. Even though this card would be unable to attack. Okay. Huh. So, there you have it. I showed him the link to the ruling. And he continued to make the argument that I was wrong. The second TGC ruling, if the, and I linked him to that second line, he said, but it's a trigger effect and must be triggered by a flip summon. This really sounds like a troll to me, but yeah, during my OP, uh, like that's uh, like uh, the short for um, um, opponent <clears throat> sorry about that but yeah OP is short for opponent and he said during my opponent's turn which which it was you attack it it was flip face up effect activates you know I don't know what type of argument he was trying to make here uh, but yeah he said yeah flip face up uh, he said, yeah, flip face up, but effects such as that only activate when flip summon. See, now you're lying. If it only activates when it's flip summon, then that second line wouldn't be there. What I should have told him was that, you know, it would have said so in the card description. But yeah. Yeah, like the second TGC ruling wouldn't be there. The flip summon ruling was recently added. See, this is when it was like, like bullshitted. If the flip summon, if this particular flip summon ruling was added, then, hey, but I don't believe it. So I, as you can see right there, I told him, don't give me that BS because it sounded like bullshit to me. Because I've, truth be told, I've had this happen to me once before where somebody has said something about a new card ruling and it turned out not to be true. And, you know, I'm one of those guys where, like, where I'm like, I'm like, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on me for letting you do that to me 
a second time, fool me three times, then I'm a dumb motherfucker. Like that's how that's how I think. But yeah. And uh He says, you know, the effect activates. The ruling says, says it. I had asked people in the main chat, you know, and they told me yes, you know, the main chat right here, uh, which is the public chat. And uh, as you can see, they got people talking right now, but you know, it's people in the public chat that's been playing this game longer than me and this guy combined. And and I told him that, like later on, as you're gonna see. But yeah, I told her, don't give me that BS. The effect activates. The ruling says it. I asked the people in the main chat. They told me it. Even a card says it. I mean, when you have three different sources, and two out of those three sources are, you know, the most obvious out of the, out of the three, you've lost that, you know, uh, out of that back and forth. But yeah. So, but, but the flip summon page says otherwise. That just, that's just it. Sazak effect activates when it's flipped face up, not just flip summon. Since it has that condition on its effect, it is a trigger effect. Wow. And, and then he links me to a page to cards that, that, that get flipped. And he, now, notice that when he did this, I don't even think he read this properly, cause if he did, he would see he he would have read this second paragraph. Like obviously, like he must have just skimmed through it, because if you're making an argument against a flip effect on a monster that isn't a flip effect monster, like Sazak is, like he has an effect that activates when it's flipped face up, as you can see, you know, but it isn't a flip effect monster. But I digress. He linked me to the page to flip monsters, right? So to the flip effects. So I don't think this page has anything to do with Sazak, but if, if if it does, like he read it right here, a monster may be flips flipped by flip summoning. In this case, you can change the monster to from face down defense position to face up attack position, right? To flip, to face up attack position, yeah, there we go. Or, or like right here, if a face down monster is attacked, which Sazank was, it, it is flipped face up and maintains its battle phase position. Monsters can also be flipped by the effects of other cards. Neither of these messages are considered to be a flip summon. Okay, so that's obviously right here, and it says that he doesn't when this card is flipped face up, flip face up. Why does it keep going over other cards? But yeah, when this card is flipped face up, right? Which it was. It was flipped face up, and it was flipped face up by getting attacked by his other monster. And he's making this argument that you know that the effect doesn't activate when clearly it says it on the card. And my session timed out. Son of a bitch. But Hold on, let me refresh this thing. But yeah, like, obviously I'm not able to go back to it, so... Yeah, like, the only thing I would say is just watch out for trolls. Watch out for trolls. 